So here are seven ways to stop racing thoughts. I'm going to be using an article from Medical News Today. I feel like they're quite legit. I don't know a lot about them, but like from my experience, they seem to be fairly legit. I read a couple of bad reviews online. So, you know, if anyone has any more insight to that, please feel free to comment. And it said it's been medically reviewed. So I'm going to assume that these are legit ways. And you know what? Even if people don't really like them, it's still like a suggestion or something you could try. Um, and finally, before I start, start, sorry, I just want to say that, you know, this isn't medical advice. Talk to a medical professional first before you do anything, especially if you are having racing thoughts and struggling. So cool. Let's jump into the seven. So number one, they talk about focusing on the now. So not the future or the past, which makes a lot of sense because I know when I'm struggling to focus, you know, I'm worrying about my interactions with people and more and what I've done, uh, worrying about the future, like what if this goes wrong, etc. So I think that makes a lot of sense, although I feel like that's quite hard to do off the bat. I know mindfulness can help that. Sometimes CBT puts me more in the moment. And also for me, I guess like laying off caffeine, even though I have had some caffeine today. So that's number one. So number two is take deep breaths. So if you're very stressed out or if you're panicking a bit, you might not be breathing fully in a full breath. So your body could be in a bit of a fight or flight. So, you know, just doing that, doing that deeper breathing kind of calms you down a bit. And I, I, I can definitely see how that can work. I, I've noticed when I'm stressed out, I don't breathe fully either. So I think that is not a bad tip. So number three is, you know, thinking about alternative options. And I feel like this really ties back to CBT because there's then like, don't think about the worst case scenario. You know, people might have job interviews or make a mistake at work or something and think, oh, I, I'm either not going to get the job or I'm going to get fired or, you know, this is all going to go dreadfully wrong when, you know, really there could be quite a variety of outcomes and it's not possible to fully say like we're not psychic so you know especially if something bad has happened it's hard not to think like that but and and all these things I think it's very easier said than done so I very much like appreciate that as well number four is using mantras so like I can get through this you know it will be okay I find it a bit corny the idea of that just being like it'd be good it'd be good but I think you know that could work and I think it could be a lot more positive reinforcing that you know then then saying the negative thoughts again and again I mean that's all you're really doing right you're doing instead of saying it's going to go bad it's going to go bad it's like it's going to be good it's going to be good I think with all of these it's hard to like snap out of it and tell yourself to do things like this so I guess it's important to try and remember these or or at least your own methods you know that's the thing isn't it if you've got racing thoughts it just goes away with it you know you, you don't even think about stopping it so this is basically saying try distractions and they've got like coloring books painting gardening cooking you know a couple of other things there I think that's a great idea I like to do this as a distraction so making videos recording that's fun I suppose different distractions are good for different things like someone might want to be creative or they might just want to get outside or be social I know when I'm chatting to people I'm very distracted it's kind of when I'm not really doing anything that my mind races so yeah I think that's a really a really good idea to do stuff although when you are stressed out or racing mind maybe a bit anxious you might be too scared to do stuff so it could be about breaking that barrier and again not medical advice <laughs> talk to a professional these are just ideas for people and you know if you have to see anyone sue medical news today not me okay okay no cool so next is exercise. I know I actually didn't exercise as much for this month and it really affected me and, and normally I run once a week and I do an upper body once a week. And I sometimes do lower body as well and I think it's great to exercise because it doesn't completely shut my brain off but it definitely aids it and it makes me more, more capable to be in that more chilled, more vul not vulnerable, like more calmed place. So yeah, I definitely think exercise is great. I know some people don't like to exercise but you know, I don't think it's necessarily about liking it and I think once you find something you enjoy as well you know it can become quite enjoyable um I don't always want to run but I definitely enjoy it you know near the end of it or after so yeah I mean I think it's good to exercise to be fair in in all aspects of life so like anyway I'm rambling so we'll go on to number seven Next is inhale lavender essential oils. I found this really like just a weird suggestion because it seemed really out of tone with the other six. Yeah, I mean, I've I've tried like a lavender. I had a lavender candle, which was 100% lavender oil. And I, I felt like that calmed me down. And I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure they're saying it here as well. Like they found that, you know, inhaling lavender essential oils does calm you down. I mean, I suppose that's not as sustainable as 
you know, the other things. And I, I feel like, you know, if you're doing that all the time, your body could get used to that, like, like any drug or anything you take. So it might be a nice one off thing or a nice thing to do like once a week, like getting lavender oils. Um, Looks like they've got a link there as well. I mean, I still think that's cool. I just think it's a bit out of touch with the other six they suggested, but I saw, I wanted to make this as a video. I found their site. I thought it'd be good as a reference point And I wanted to see what they saw as someone who had a bit of a race in mind today. And yeah, I feel like it's a never ending thing. And for anyone who does have it, it could potentially be um anxiety driven a bit, or some people just have quite race in mind. So I think it's cool, you know, that there's stuff out there, there's ideas, you know, maybe keeping yourself busy or putting yourself in the moment. But you know, it's obviously all a lot easier said than done. So yeah, I hope you liked the video. Um, I'll try and throw some like bits together, try and make it look all good. And, and yeah, I don't really have much more to say now. I'm kind of rambling. <laughs> but uh, yeah, anyway, I really appreciate you watching the video. I hope you liked it and I hope it actually helps someone because uh, yeah, that's kind of the point of the video. Cool. Anyway, thanks.